Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to access all of the assignments for this course. Once you log into this Canvas shell here, the home page will provide you a link to the wamap.org site where all of our assignments are located. So the first time you click on this link, it's going to automatically create an account for you over at that site, and it will connect you to this Canvas shell. Go ahead and click on that link, and then what should happen is you will see the WAMAP site and it looks like this. You'll notice that it has its own menu system, so there's a messages feature where you can send me individual messages about grades or other personal matters. There's forums where you can ask questions about the homework. There's a calendar link which will isolate this calendar that you see here for you. Uh, there's a course map that gives you an overview of everything in the course, and then a gradebook where you can track all your grades, click on your scores, look at your answers, and things like that. So I encourage you to explore each of these to see what they do. Generally, most people will navigate this with the calendar. And if you click on these double arrows here, to move forward in time, you'll see the due dates for each of the assignments. So you can see that this course formally starts on February the, the 9th on this calendar, and then you have homework one due on the 13th of that particular month, and then you've got uh, the quiz due a couple of days later. So you can activate any of the assignments by clicking on the day where that particular assignment is due, and then going in and clicking on the link that corresponds to that assignment. You can also initiate a late pass for these assignments in that same area here. That's the quickest way to access the assignments. However, what you'll probably want to do, at least at the beginning, is access each week's particular content in its respective folder. So week one is highlighted up here at the top. If I click on that link, you're going to see a whole list of items that are associated with that week. The learning outcomes can be accessed by clicking on this title or on this little triangle. You can close that up by clicking once again. You can click on the readings for that week, information about how you show your work for that particular week and its content. And then there's links to the homework, to the quiz activation link, which you need to do before you start the quiz, and the quiz itself. You'll notice here that quiz one is grayed out because it has a prerequisite, and that prerequisite is that you complete the activation link, which is right above it. The readings for each week, when you click into one of those, will look like this. Let's go ahead and open that up, and you'll see here there will be an introductory page here, and then there's sections for each week, sort of like sections in a textbook. You can skip around, but I recommend that you go in order. If I click on the first section here, you'll notice that I've got some reading to do, and then there's video links. The video links can be opened in their own window by clicking on the name of the link, or you can watch the video inline as you read by clicking the little plus button to expand the video open or to close it. So you'll notice that there's examples, uh, some videos, and then eventually you're going to see some problems where you're asked to try some of these problems on your own just to make sure that you can check your own understanding as you go along. These questions are not part of your grade in this course, but I encourage you to finish them so that you can get some feedback as you, as you do the reading. When you get to the bottom of the page, you can click on Next Page to proceed or you can go back up to the menu up here at the top of the screen and just click on the next section. And that'll take you into the next section. You can always go back to the main WAMAP page by clicking on the title for the course up here in this area of the screen. So if I click that, it's just gonna take me back to the main page here. And what you'll notice as you scroll down, you'll see week one is highlighted at the top, weeks two, three, and four, 
and so on are below the calendar. The final exam has its own folder. There's a place to get help on the forums um, with your homework or the readings. And it looks like I have two final exam folders here, so we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, but that's basically the structure of this course. Um, if you have any questions about this, make sure you post them to the forums. It's really easy to do that. You just click on the forums up here and click on the forum that you want to post into, add a new thread, um, give it a subject up at the top here, and then enter your text here, and then post it with this button here. Pretty straightforward. So that's a little bit of an overview of how all of this works. Um, there's just one last thing I want to show you about how to post questions about homework problems to the forums. So if we go into the first homework assignment, let's say here, what I want you to see is that the homework assignments have been grouped into groups of problems that are related to the theme that they're based upon. So if I were to click on one of these here, you'll see that you have all these questions that you're going to, to answer. You'll submit your answers using the submit button. But if you get stuck on something or you have a question about something, you just click right below the question where it says post this question to forum. And that's going to automatically fill out the subject line for you. It's going to copy your version of the problem into your post. And then all you have to do up here is type out your, your question. I highly recommend that you use the insert edit image button to upload a copy of your work so I can see what you've done and try to find any mistakes you might have made. If you, if you don't do that, at least provide details about what you've done or what your thinking is so that I can help you along the way. Um, when you're done with your post, just click this button down here that says post thread and it'll go right to the forums where I can look at them, address them, and, and reply to them as quickly as I can. So that's WAMAP and how it works. Uh, if you have questions about any of this, again, post them to the forums, and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible.